Coming tomorrow, a lunch and learn about rare diseases and the importance of staying informed on how genetic disorders affect daily lives. Joining us now, Mississippi Gulf Coast Community College biology instructor Lynn Zimmerman and United MSD Foundation Executive Director, Director rather, Sarah Vandersipen. And thank you guys for joining us. Great to have you on the show. Thank, thank you. you. And uh, first of all, Lynn, I think this is a, a great program to inform people about this and you as a, a biology instructor have to be particularly interested in the genetics of all of this. Yes, absolutely. Um, it's really exciting because not only am I interested in it, but my students love learning about genetics. And so this ties right into being able to work with the MSD Foundation with the students uh, for something so worthwhile. Yeah, and of course, um, MSD, Sarah, is something that's very rare yes. and uh, there's a family here that's been very active with that, uh, Willow. Yes. And I've done some stories with them, with her mom, and uh, how did you get into this and, and why do you want people to know more about this? You're one of the guest speakers, I believe. I am. So uh, I joined the organization this February as, our, as the new executive director, um, taking over from Amber Olson, our founder and Willow's mom. Right. And so uh, Willow was diagnosed in 2016 with MSD or multiple sulfatase deficiency, and it's a ultra rare um, neurodegenerative disease. And so the easiest way to describe it is that the way that our bodies naturally clear out waste in our cells, the children like Willow don't have the ability, the switch isn't turned on. And so um, it's obviously that ability is really important. And without that, it's a fatal condition. And so the United MSD Foundation, first under Amber's guidance and now um, under mine, we've been funding research um, to advance uh, you know, treatments and therapies, um, hopefully leading to a cure for MSD, as well as supporting families um, across now 17 different countries. Right, and of course, uh, Amber has done great work on that research, um, getting that word out there and helping to yes. get more money for it. That's very important. And um, she's one of three speakers, and there'll be um, two others, and it uh, should be really informative for people who attending. Yeah, we're really excited because this year we actually have a former MGCCC student, Ashton, who um, changed her major because of meeting Willow, and now she's a uh, pediatric genetic researcher, and she's flying in from Missouri to be oh, one of our guest great. speakers. Yeah, that is wonderful. And uh, what should people expect as far as the event tomorrow? Then I know it's a lunch and learn, and and can people just show up tomorrow, or did they need to already register? No, they can show up. Uh, we have a, a limited number of seats, so Chick Fil A is providing lunch for us. Um, and we will start uh, at about 11.50 with everyone getting their food, and then the speakers will actually begin at noon. Uh, but we would love to have anyone come. This is a, um, a prelude to our gene fair that's coming up in uh, November the 28th. So we would love to have the community come to our campus and look at some of the projects that the students are doing about rare diseases. That is great. And, and Sarah, I know that you want to get the message out there and it's really important to keep it going for all of the uh, research needs. And I know progress is being made. So hopefully people will attend the Lunch and Learn presentation on rare diseases. It's happening tomorrow from 1150 until 1250. Don't be late. <laughs> <laughs> and it's right there at the Warner Peterson Administration Building Lecture Hall on the Jackson County campus. Uh, Lynn Zimmerman, Sarah Vandersipen, thank you so much for joining us today and getting the message out there. Thank you. Thank you so much. And we're